Good afternoon. So today I'm on the Loyal Sock Trail in uh, North Central Pennsylvania. It's an awesome trail. I actually did this trail, I don't know, 15 some years ago. I've been wanting to do it again for a while and I'm finally, uh, I finally made the time to do it. So the girlfriend just dropped me off, I don't know, like 10 minutes ago, she's heading home. So the weather's supposed to be pretty good for this trip. You know, lows in the 40s, highs in the 70s. Uh, yeah, early spring is definitely one of my favorite hiking seasons. I like to get out here before it gets too hot and humid. One mile down, a lot more to go. All right, map check. So we started here, that's Route 87 there. And then this climb was brutal, <laughs> but then it flattened out here for a bit. I went ahead and put the campsites on this map. So right here is where we're headed. It's a little over four and a half miles in. And I think that's all I have in me today <laughs> with a full pack and that climb really uh, took a lot out of me. So yeah, that's where we're headed. So we're about three miles in here. It looks like we've got a pretty decent vista coming up right here. It's raining a little bit, but I don't think it's raining enough to uh, make me pull out my rain jacket. Well, the rain finally lit up, but all this mountain laurel is uh, soaking wet. I feel like I'm going through a car wash. <laughs> all right, so we made it to camp here, about four and a half miles in on the trail. And I don't think this is a very established campsite, but it'll do. All right, the tent is pitched over there. Got my pack hanging. Somebody was nice enough to leave a clothesline up there. I'm just kind of hanging the pack there. And I am hungry. So I'm gonna cook up some uh, sour cream and chives. All right, dinner is served. That'll work. And then for dessert, got some uh, hot tamales with Swedish fish. Well, it's about 8.30. I'm uh, getting kind of tired here, so I'm gonna go ahead and crash. So yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep in. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So I slept okay last night. We got a little bit of rain, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, my sleeping bag got pretty wet. The condensation in the tent, um, you know, that's such a small tent that the um, sleeping bag kind of hits up against the side of the tent and it got pretty wet. And I have a down bag. So hopefully sometime today, maybe I can dry that out a little bit. But it still kept me warm. It wasn't that bad. So yeah, I'm going to finish my coffee here and we're going to get on the trail. All right, we got a kiosk here. Little Sock Trail. Got a map down here. So we're right about here. About five miles in. Angel Falls, it's a really nice waterfall there. Got some nice vistas there. And then we're going to go through the World's End State Park. All the way there, Soane's Pond. I've camped there a lot with my camper van. <laughs> Sones Pond, so maybe we'll camp there, who knows. And then the haystacks are really nice waterfalls here. And then that's where I'm parked. Looks like we got a party of two that's doing the entire trail. They're a day ahead of us. Steve and Ryan. So it's going on about 10 o'clock. And we had a little bit of a climb there this morning, but it wasn't too bad. Oh, feels good to be out here. The uh, 
temperature is perfect right now. The trail's nice and flat. I'm just cruising along. So we got lunch with a view today. This is really nice. Uh, let's see what I can come up with here. We got some tortillas there, peanut butter. These are walnuts. Got some Fig Newtons and a Nature Valley bar. Yeah, this is a really nice campsite at about mile 12. You got some uh, stone <laughs> seats over there, nice big fire pit, and these waterfalls up here are just gorgeous. Well, I think I see our campsite for the night up here. Oh man, oh, this is nice. Whew. Oh man, that's nice. Got it all to myself too. Oh, that's nice. Plenty of water too. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> all right, I'm taking this pack off. All right, first things first. These boots have got to come off. So much better. All right, so I got camp set up pretty much. There's my little spot right there. I got my sleeping bag hanging, trying to air out and uh, gonna try to dry it off a little bit. It was still kind of wet from last night. So I just took my bear bag line, strung it between those two trees. There we go, got my tent, good to go. Then I just hung my pack up back there. So yeah, it's a really sweet spot. So we only did about nine and a half miles today and uh, it's for good reason because there's private property for the next like seven miles ahead and I don't think I have another seven miles in me. So we're staying here, this spot's awesome. Private land, no camping for almost six and a half miles until it re-enters the uh, state forest at mile 21.14. And it's already four o'clock, so we're staying here. <laughs> so today, where were we? We woke up right here. We did this, we saw those vistas there. And then we're camping right here tonight. All right, so since I stopped early today, I figured I'd uh, 
try this little experiment here for my dinner. I got some tortillas here, and this is a like a vegan cheese that's um, actually keeping very well. This is the second day, and it, it's still pretty good. And then I went ahead and I dehydrated some rice and beans at home. I ate a lot of rice and beans at home, and I figured I'd uh, just dehydrate some and see how it, how it works out here. And then I actually packed out some spinach. I got another one of these in there. And it looks like it's still doing good after two days. Yep. And I got a hoagie the other day <laughs> and I, at the uh, at the Wawa. And uh, I took some hot sauce packets. So I'm thinking making a burrito with some, uh, with some spinach and some cheese with a little hot sauce. We'll see how it turns out. All right. Those rice and beans have been sitting in there for about a half an hour. Let's see what we got. That doesn't look too bad. That's not too bad. All right. All right, let's get that hot sauce in there. The last bite. So my tent had a malfunction a couple months ago when I was on the Black Forest Trail. This bar was poking through here and was going to rip the material. So after my trip, I went ahead and I sent my tent into z -Packs and they fixed it. They fixed it great. They did a really good job with it. All right, so it's going on 8.30 and I'm going to get some sleep here. I just want to say my... Uh, <laughs> my dinner burrito was much yummier than my lunch burrito today. <laughs> that lunch burrito wasn't that good. What was it? Uh, Fig Newtons and um, granola and peanut butter and some walnuts. It was okay, but uh, I definitely liked uh, my dinner much better than my lunch today. So anyway, tomorrow we got to do some miles tomorrow. We got to make some miles tomorrow. We're going to try to do 15. So I'm going to get some sleep and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So it's about six o'clock. We're getting an early start this morning. I slept pretty good last night. Had some weird dreams. <laughs> I tend to have uh, weird dreams out here for some reason. I think your mind goes to some, <laughs> some strange places when you're hiking alone all day and then when you go to sleep. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, let's take a look at the map and I'll show you what we're going to do today. Okay, so we're at mile 14 right now. So we're off this map. Here's mile 18 and a quarter. So, I don't know, the first half of the day is gonna be relatively uneventful. Then we got a trail register there at mile 22. And then here's Angel Falls. There's a side trail that takes you down to this really awesome waterfall, which I've seen twice. I've actually seen this waterfall twice. So I don't know if, I, if I'm gonna have the energy to wanna do that side trail down to see that waterfall. Uh, this time I might just push past that because I'm having some knee trouble. My left knee, my IT band is not feeling good. Anyway, so we got, we got waterfalls here. Anyway, we got waterfalls here. Boom, here, boom, here. We got an awesome Vista. Where is that Vista? Right here, Kettle Creek Vista. And then we're going to try to camp right at mile 28.42. So that'll be about a 15 mile day. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so this uh, Loyal Sock Trail is marked with a yellow blaze with a red stripe in the middle. And this one, it's an older one. You can tell the tree kind of broke it apart. But they also have those round discs, those plastic discs that um, mark the trail. So I don't know if they're going to keep doing the painted uh, blazes on the trees or, or if they're just going to stick with the, uh, with the plastic discs. The birds are just chirping away this morning.
All right, so the trail took us out to this road. And we're going to stay on this for about two miles. I believe it's called Genesee uh, Trail Road. But that's okay. I don't mind a road walk once in a while. I wouldn't want to do it all day, that's for sure. All right, we're taking a little break here. And I'm going to use up the rest of this spinach. It's going a little bit, like right there. I just want to use it up before it... Uh, goes bad and I got that vegan cheese from last night. I'm just gonna roll it all up in a tortilla. So this road walk seems like it's taken forever. <laughs> I think it's a little more than two miles, but uh, at least it's uh, got some nice vistas along the way. All right, looks like we're leaving the road here. Looks like the trail goes, goes up there. So here's that wind whistle in, and it says here, let's see, it was uh, built in 1886 and it burned in 1898. Had two bowling alleys, a shuffleboard and pool tables, and a dance floor. All right, so it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and it is gorgeous out. It is a perfect, perfect hiking day. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> the wind's uh, kicking up a little bit. It feels good. It's a nice cool breeze. The sun's out. <laughs> Love it. Well, we got another kiosk here. That's the same uh, the same thing we saw a couple days ago. So we are, let's see, we are uh, right about here, almost halfway. So here's a picture of that Angel Falls that I'm not going to today. <laughs> it's real nice. All right, so it's 12 o'clock. I'm taking a little break here, right by the uh, right by the creek here. I got my socks from the first day drying out over there on my trekking poles and then uh yeah i just made up some stuffing i got some stuffing going on down there and yeah just drying my uh drying my feet out a little bit and taking it easy All right, we're at Kettle Creek here, and we gotta find a way to cross this, and the last thing I wanna do is get my feet wet. So, I'm thinking right up here. Yeah, so I wiped out. <laughs> that sucked. I went down and my whole pack just went in the water. Oh, my feet are drenched. Oh. All right, so the bottom of the pack took most of the water. That's where my sleeping bag is, and that's wrapped in plastic, so I should be okay. My battery banks got a little wet, but I have them in a... Uh, in a plastic bag, they didn't get wet. Ugh. But <laughs> my socks didn't get wet. <laughs> I had them up here to dry, they're bone dry. <laughs> so at least they're dry.
Well, I think I see our campsite for tonight. This will work. Places to sit. And we got a waterfall right over there. All right, map check. So we ended up right here, right at mile around 27. Uh, we were gonna try to make it to here about another mile and a half. Um, it's already a little after four and I'm, uh, I'm just gonna call it quits here. This, this spot's pretty decent. So tomorrow, we're gonna cross, this is uh, Dutter's Run it's called. So we're gonna cross it seven times and we're gonna pass uh, four waterfalls. So that'll be nice in the morning. So I bring what I consider two luxury items on every hike. First luxury item is my sleeping pad down there. It's a Thermarest Neo Air. It's kind of heavy, but I'm a stomach sleeper and I need it. And number two are my flip-flops. I am so glad right now that I get to wear these and not these soaking wet, muddy boots around camp. All right, so here's my little home away from home. Got my seat there, tents all pitched, packs hanging there. I got my boots drying out over here. Took the insoles out of them. Hopefully they'll dry a little bit overnight. Let's try to keep these open. Maybe they'll dry a little bit for tomorrow. So, there's a bunch of firewood over there. And we have a really nice fire pit here, but we're not allowed to have any fire. So I'm bummed about that, but oh well. So I went to REI the other day to pick something up. And while I was there, I figured what the heck, try another one of these uh, prepackaged dinners. So here we go. Uh, pesto pasta with hemp seed protein. Classic pesto seasoning with rotini, noodles, hemp seeds, dried tomato, and Parmesan cheese. See what we got here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Well, that's not bad. I think I put too much water in it. Oh well. It'll still taste good. Well, I'm beat. It's time to crash, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So it got cold last night. <laughs> uh, I don't think it got down below freezing, but uh, yeah, it got pretty chilly. And uh, I didn't bring my puffy jacket on this hike. <laughs> and I'm kind of regretting it now, but it's not bad. I got three layers on. I got the uh, my base layer t-shirt and then um, the rain jacket. And that seems to be doing okay. It's a chilly morning, <laughs> that's for sure. But uh, these waterfalls are awesome and I got them all to myself. map here so last night we crashed right around here right around mile 27 and this morning we had those waterfalls that were really nice so what we're going to try to do today we got some waterfalls coming up here i kind of put these two maps together where it lines up here so we got some waterfalls and there's a ladder you got to go down i remember doing that before some nice vistas and we're going to try to camp right around here so it'll be about a 15 mile day like yesterday, the problem is we can't go any further because you can't camp inside 
the state park there in uh, World's End State Park. All right, so we got couscous and iced tea. So we had some uh, recent trail maintenance here and they carved something on this log. I think it says, what is that? PA, PA trail dogs, uh, PA trail dogs. All right. The trail goes through these boulders here. There's a marker up there. Ah, this is neat. You probably camp right in there if you had to. There's a fire pit right there. Oh, this part of the trail here runs alongside of uh, Ketchum Run, and then that eventually turns into a waterfall. I believe it's called Road Falls. This is a really, really nice section of the trail. So right down there is Lee's Falls. I don't think the trail actually goes to the falls, but it sounds big. It's roaring. Uh, in the guidebook, it says that we, we might be able to get a view of it up ahead. All right, so this is Jack's window. The waterfalls are down there. Still can't really see them. So we got that ladder up ahead. <laughs> We're at the top of the falls right here. a perfect little campsite right here too right by the falls So this is Alpine View, gorgeous spot. <laughs> it's a perfect day too, <laughs> but I'm pretty beat. That last climb kicked my butt. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to our uh, predetermined destination <laughs> tonight, but we're gonna try. That is a welcome sight after a hard day. Oh, whew. I am whooped. <sighs> oh, that is nice. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful campsite. Oh, yeah. Love it. So this campsite's kind of a tease because over there, there's plenty of kindling. And over there are uh, a bunch of dry logs just begging to be burned. And there's plenty of water to put the fire out. So I'm kind of bummed that... <laughs> There's no fires allowed. I want to find out why. I wonder why there's no uh, no fires allowed until the 25th of May. Maybe I'll call the uh, Loyal Sox State Forest when I get back and find out the deal there. All right, what do I want for dinner tonight? Mashed potatoes. This is like a Spanish rice. And this is couscous. I had couscous today for lunch. And I had mashed potatoes on my first night out. So I'm going with the rice. 
All right, so my rice is rehydrating there. So we ended up right here. We almost made it to mile 40. We were going to try to make it to here, but couldn't quite make it. I'm, I'm beat. Oh, I couldn't take another step. So tomorrow we are going to try to make it to Soane's Pond right there. I know there's a bunch of really nice campsites right there. I've uh, I've camped there a lot with my camper van, Bart. <laughs> it's a really, it's a, it's a gorgeous pond. I, lo I love this area here. So that's going to be like a 14 mile day and that's going to be tough. There's a lot of ups and downs. We're going to go through uh world's end state park here it's an awesome park we're gonna we're gonna cross over the uh, loyal sock river there and then hopefully make it to stone's pond tomorrow and then uh tomorrow which is friday i think <laughs> it'll be a like a seven or eight mile hike back to my van back to my vehicle and that'll be a nice hike there's the uh, haystacks right here which are really awesome we'll take a nice break there so that is the plan. So I added too much water again to my rice, but a little bit of uh, dehydrated mashed potatoes thickens it up pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. So today was a pretty uh, awesome hiking day. You really can't ask for a, a better hiking day than today. I mean, the weather was perfect. I mean, it was a little, um, a little chilly this morning, but it warmed up nicely. Uh, nice and sunny. It was just, uh, yeah, really nice. And then we had uh, killer waterfalls all day. <laughs> really, really nice waterfalls and great vistas. Really, <laughs> as far as hiking goes, it was a was a pretty awesome day. But right after right after the uh, Alpine view, I think it was, my body was just like, yeah, you're done. You're done. You're not taking another step. Ah, uh, and it was it was pretty bad like the last five-ish miles or so four or five-ish miles it was pretty brutal um and then when i got to camp <laughs> it was like the perfect camp to have a campfire nice big fire ring uh plenty of wood and then the creek right here to put the fire out completely and we're not allowed to have fires <laughs> and the bugs started getting bad towards later the later in the day they weren't mosquitoes, but they were those little biting gnats. Oh, every time I like went to sit down, they were just everywhere in my eyes. And, uh, so if we were allowed to have a fire, that would have been really nice and it would have kept the bugs away and I would have enjoyed this camp a little bit more. But that's that's hiking, man. That's backpacking. You, know, there's, you take the good with the bad. That's just the way it goes. So anyway... I'm pretty beat. I'm going to get some sleep. And uh, so tomorrow we're going to try to head towards Soane's uh, Pond. So hopefully we'll make it there. And uh, hopefully we'll have good weather again. And hopefully the bugs will let up a little. That'd be nice. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to hit the... I'm going to, uh, I'm going to crash. And then uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good morning. So we got another cold morning. Uh, it's not that bad, but I got all three layers on again. <laughs> I'm going to get some coffee going and uh, try to get warmed up here. I slept okay last night. Woke up around 3. Couldn't really get back to sleep after that. But I think I got enough sleep to uh, to get the job done here. Check this spot out. It's a cool little place to camp right here. Got a fire pit right underneath this uh, rock ledge. I don't know if my tent would fit in here though. I guess you wouldn't need a tent. Just roll out your sleeping bag right there. <laughs> so I have to say the uh, Little Sock Trail is blazed very, very well. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So here's that mineral spring water coming out of the ground there it looks orange <laughs> doesn't look very appetizing <laughs> or drinkable but the guidebook says here uh, mineral spring where iron oxide masks the green color of the algae's chlorophyll i don't know man i'm not drinking that <laughs> it looks radioactive <laughs> Well, 
that is a welcome sight right now. <laughs> Getting a little tired of digging holes. Not bad, how about yourself? So I just got down from the, uh, the Canyon Vista up there that you can drive to, which I've been to many times. Beautiful, beautiful Vista. And that uh, bathroom was most welcome. <laughs> that was the perfect timing. <laughs> anyway, so there was a nice uh, young couple up there at the Vista and they were asking me questions about what I was doing and all that kind of stuff and they were fascinated with the hiking poles <laughs> so they were checking the hiking poles out and yeah that was that was kind of fun and then uh <laughs> i basically just told them yeah i love doing this it's uh it's cheaper than therapy <laughs> they got a kick out of that We're crossing over the Loyal Sock Creek right here. It's uh, around 12.30, 1 o'clock, and it is gorgeous out. <laughs> it's a perfect day. There's a guy fly fishing down there. I kind of want to hang out here, see if he catches something. <laughs> Make sure you are in proper physical condition to negotiate rough terrain. <laughs> yeah, um, too late. So we're climbing up and away from the uh, Loyal Sock Creek and uh, World Zen State Park, and it's a rock scramble <laughs> all through there. And there's the uh, World Zen State Park Visitor Center right there. We were just there like 20 minutes ago. So it's around three o'clock and we got about four more miles to make it to Soane's Pond and I feel pretty good. I feel much better today than I did yesterday. <laughs> around this time yesterday I was hurting. <laughs> but this section of trail is really nice. It's quiet. It's very peaceful here. And once you cross over the Loyal Sock, uh, the Loyal Sock River and you kind of climb out and it's a, kind of a brutal climb. But now here it kind of flattens out. And it's really nice. I'm just cruising along. There's a really nice spot right down there. <laughs> but we're only a couple miles from Soane's Pond. I'm going to keep pushing on to Soane's Pond. But that's nice. I hate to pass that up. It's a beautiful spot. So it looks like we got a Blue Blaze side trail that takes us to a waterfall. It's not that far off, so I'm gonna go check it out. Right, so I made it to Soane's Pond. I got some neighbors, there's some people up ahead of me there and there's two nice ladies back there and uh, yeah, it just feels good to be done hiking for the day. It's a very peaceful spot. I love this pond. I camp here a lot in my camper van. Um, it's just up around there. There's car camping spots, and I caught a I caught a couple largemouth bass in this uh, in this pond, and it's a very special place. I'm very very happy to be here. Okay, so what's going on about eight thirty? And I was just over chilling by the uh, by the pond and saw the first star come out. I think it's Venus. I'm not sure, but just really nice. It looks like it's going to be a clear sky uh, tonight. 
lights and I don't know what the moon phase is, but I don't see the moon. So maybe we'll get some good stars tonight. And where I'm laying, I can kind of see the sky a little bit from where I'm laying. So maybe I'll see some stars tonight <laughs> if I don't pass out first. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So we got a pretty easy day today for the last day. Uh, so we got the haystacks coming up. That's going to be nice. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of easing into my day here. I slept in a little bit. It's going on 8 o'clock. <laughs> But I felt good to sleep in a little bit. So, yeah. Hey, let's get on the trail and get moving. So the trail takes you out to a road here for a little bit. And we have to cross over the Loyal Suck Creek again. So we got this bridge coming up. So it's about 9.30 it is an awesome morning. We really got lucky with the, uh, with the weather on this trip. The first day or two was a little rainy, but after that it cleared up. It's perfect temperature. A little chilly in the mornings, but that's, I kind of like that, you know? And then uh, it didn't get too hot during the middle of the day. It wasn't that humid. This trail is amazing. This trail uh, is one of my favorite trails. It has to be. It's right up there with the Black Forest Trail. So I think uh, you learn something. Every trip you go on, you kind of learn something about uh, what you need and what you don't need. So on this trip, I learned <laughs> that I want those toe socks. You know, those socks that... Uh, you know, each one of your toes goes in its own little pocket. Because <laughs> at camp, at night, my feet get a little cold. And uh, I just have my flip-flops. And it'd be nice to kind of put on a nice thick pair of those uh, toe socks. That way I can <laughs> keep my feet a little bit warmer in camp. So when I took that tumble in Kettle Creek, <laughs> I had my Osmo camera Velcroed around my trekking pole. And I just had the camera pointed down. So I was concentrating on all the rocks to step on, and I saw that one. <laughs> it looked a little wet, but I, I was like, I, you know, I figured it'd be okay, and then boom, went right down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think next time, if I'm unsure about a creek crossing, I'm just gonna take my shoes off and cross bare feet, and then, uh, you know, just dry my feet off when I get to the other side. That's much, uh, that's more preferable than uh, falling on my ass. <laughs> So I am just moseying along. <laughs> the trail's nice and flat up ahead. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I find myself going slower. Like I'm in no rush to get back to the van. <laughs> I can hear the haystacks down there. So we're gonna be uh, hitting them pretty soon. But I'm in no hurry to get back into the uh, so-called real world. <laughs> Just kind of want to stay out here. So we made it to the haystacks. This is so nice. I got it all to myself too. I see my ride. Here's Bart the van.
All right, so I'm back in the van and I got cleaned up a bit and I'm in some nice dry cotton clothes, which feels good. <laughs> it feels good to get those uh, synthetic sweaty uh, clothes off that I've been wearing for the past six days. So anyway, I just want to say thanks a lot for uh, coming with me on this hike on the Loyal Sock Trail and we'll see you in the next video.